Hello everyone, I'm the Dino Game and in the newest Minecraft Snapshot update, the sniff has been added to the game. If you wish, you can pause the screen now to look at the features added, but first, we're gonna take a look at what the Mojang employees have to say about the sniffer. Afterwards, I will show you the features in-game in a later snapshot. Hope you enjoy. Not just archaeology that's been released. This magnificent mole-like mob is the Sniffer, and it's now in the new snapshot preview and beta. This mob used to be extinct, but can be rediscovered by looking for eggs in another new Minecraft feature, Suspicious Sand. Unearth these eggs and they'll hatch into a snifflet, which is the cutest name I've ever heard. The snifflet will grow up to become a sniffer who can then sniff up unique seeds that grow into majestic plants. Right now, you'll be able to find the sniffer in creative mode without all its functions. For example, finding and hatching the egg. But don't worry, the sniffer that will join Minecraft 1.20 is going to have all the functionality that you voted for during Minecraft Live 2022. Players are already speculating that the sniffer might be the happiest mob in Minecraft, mainly because its nose looks a little like a smiley face. Let's compare it to some of Minecraft's other cheerful mobs. Okay, now let's take a look at, well, the sniffer. So some information if you didn't already know. The sniffer is now available as an experimental feature, well, in this latest snapshot. And the sniffer is the mob vote winner of Minecraft Live 2022 and the first ancient mob added to the game, which suggests that there will be more to come. Now this is the sniffer. Mm -hmm. Get out of the snow, first of all, because I am stuck. And let's place him down here so you can actually see what they look like. Because they're currently suffocating, but that's the sniffer, an absolutely massive mob. It's over two blocks tall and around three blocks wide. So I believe it should be the largest friendly mob added to the game ever, which is pretty cool. And sniffers sniff the air, as you can see he was doing just now, and they occasionally dig for seeds. He hasn't dug any seeds yet, but well. Hopefully we see it in this video. Also, the torch flower seed can be is a, has been added to the game, and they can be planted on farmland and they grow into a flower, which is well, the first type of flower which needs farmland to grow. So let's get a hoe. And let it right. Now let's till the land up just a bit. And this is the torch flower seed, and well. As you can see, you can't plant them on a regular grass like other flowers, you need to use farmland. So now if we were to get some bone meal, like right here, and we were to bone meal this up, so let's see, it takes one, two, just two bone meal usually, well, it's not okay, in that case more, and it grows into a regular flower, and unless you have water here, when they grow into a regular flower, as you saw just now, they will turn, the ground will turn back into regular dirt. And they can be have they can be harvested and replanted. Well, I mean creative, so that's not gonna work. But they will be harvested and replanted and crafted into a die. So let's see what we can craft this into. So crafting table. Let's place it down and there's our torch fly and can be crafted into orange dye. So Yet another source of air, which is, all, which is a pulse, very positive thing. So that's all so far. There will be future updates of Sniffer and coming snapshots, so I will be sure to cover that. And if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and until next time, I will see you later. Bye for now.